Hello everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and I've just completed Warm Wishes from Graphic 45. It's their uh, winter collection. It is lovely. So I'm gonna point out a couple of features I did here on the cover. So here I popped up, um, well, first of all, let me uh, point out that I used the eight by eight here and double matted it. Normally I use the 12 by 12 collection pack on the cover of my albums but I did use the eight by eight. Here are some die cuts, and then here I fussy cut and popped two of the poinsettias. This is from the 12 by 12. This is cut from the 12 by 12, as well as this, and I think it's actually from the cover, if I'm not mistaken. This is a sticker running down the side, and then these are uh, beautiful little die cuts that I added which I think worked out well. I think it's really pretty. I think you could uh, put in here the date, year, something special. On the inside, I wanna point out that there is a large gap here. And what I discovered uh, when I was installing my pages is that this is 11 inches instead of 10 and a half. So the album and the album construction will be based on 10 and a half by eight and a half by two and a half. This is 11 by eight and a half by two and a half. So this gap won't exist if you follow the instructions. On the first page, I featured a split in half eight by eight. And in here is a split in half eight by eight. This is from the Patterns and Solid collection. And here I featured a die cut, a simple punch, and some fussy cut as well as another die cut element right down here at the bottom, which I think turned out well. Now each of these is a pocket page. I did not do pocket inserts, um, but you can, and there is enough paper to at least uh, put a two or three inch strip on each of the inserts. Here's page two, and you guys have seen this before, and I just kind of fell in love with this when I did the, um, let it be and it's similar but it's one less element so there's two very thin inserts and they are based on the size of the small ephemera cards so that's the front that's the back and then the base is just a pattern in solid i double lined these with black cardstock to make it easy to go in to the pocket because it's trying to hold these two things down I wanted to make sure they were stiff enough. So we have a small flap, a little bit bigger. Same thing here, small, a little bit bigger. And then we have these two inserts. And these are three and three quarter by seven and a half. This one, I was a little shy on the pattern, um, but I am gonna, gonna come back and, and fill that with a strip. Um, but again, these are three and three quarters by seven and a half. And then we have these pockets down here. So these are great for two three by three photos. I'm gonna ins put these back in so that we can open the inside. So this opens to the left, as you can see. And then this, instead of opening here, is going to open all the way. And you have these two large photo mats and then this large space for photos here in the middle. And then you can see these are joined together. Now in the first one that I did, um, this opened up to another flap. So it's slightly different, a little less complicated, hopefully. And then over here is a very simple page. So I've got um, this uh, gatefold with um, an ephemera card and photo layout right inside. This is something I don't do very often, but I enjoy doing it. I haven't done one of these in a long time. This is just a two page layout. Um, nothing is interactive. It's like a typical 12 by 12 layout. So I've got a total of six photo mats in varying sizes. I added some fussy cuts here. This is cut from the collection, so is this. This is a die cut, these two are fussy cut. 
and then this is just a round die and I actually talk about uh, the tool that I use which I really like we don't sell but I really like and they're not a sponsor either I just genuinely like the tool I think it does a great great job on uh, what I was trying to do also down here is a cut part okay this is a repeat of uh, page two so we've got the double flaps This is page six, obviously. And then we have the inserts on the inside. Patterns and solids, patterns and solids, ephemera cards. It opens opposite as the of the other one, and then this whole thing comes up and over. This is what I did differently as I attached the photo mat and this flap with a circle. And there we go. I think that turned out beautifully. I really like it. I really like these patterns. Um, I think they're very pretty. Although, having said that, they don't feel very Christmassy. Um, they feel very elegant um, and maybe more just winter. Um, a little less like Christmas, I guess. So I'm gonna put the large mat back in. And again, as I did on the first one, this is double layered black cardstock with designer cardstock on top, just to make it extra stiff, to make it easy to cover those two flaps. Okay. Lots of photo space. And then another array here. I left the edges open so you can tuck your photos in or any memorabilia that you have. All of these um, have room for um, 8 by 10 inserts, although I do tend to shy away from those because it's so long it's hard to get an insert all the way down without it wanting to bend on you. So if you do choose to use the inserts, make sure you double block your cardstock to make it super stiff so it'll go in and out without trying to fold on you. That is warm wishes. Thanks everybody for tuning in to Scrap and Create. This is Daphne. And as always, we so appreciate you coming here and spending time with us on our channel. And even more, we appreciate it when you leave a comment, especially something that's actionable. A size, a brand, anything that's interesting to you, leave it in our comments. We'll do everything we can to respond to those in a timely fashion and keep providing content that's meaningful to you. If you have not yet checked out our store at www.scrapandcreate.com, please do so. Um, everything you see here in all our tutorials is carried in our shop. We do our best to do same day shipping. So if you order it today um, and it comes in before, I don't know, 10 a.m., Pacific Standard Time, it'll go out the same day. We also take great care in packaging your precious cargo as we are paper lovers. Um, we do our best to make sure it, it arrives to you in pristine condition. So thanks again for spending some time with us here at Scrap and Create. This is Daphne. Have a good night.